everybody, welcome back to the 30 day transformation program to get in the best shape of your life in only 30 days. And each workout is 30 minutes or less. And be happy, today's workout is only 20 minutes, but today's all about abs. You want to sculpt your abs, you want your abs to pop, you want to get that six pack, but this is the workout you need to do two to three times a week to get the abs that you want. And then combine it with the, a good diet and you will have a six pack. Today's workout is going to be 20 minutes, we'll do 15 minutes of, a, of circuit training using the abs, 40 seconds on, 20 second rest, five exercises, three rounds, and then we'll finish with a five minute cardio blast. So today's the workout's all about abs and getting a little bit of conditioning in. 20 minute workout. So with this, we're gonna go right down, go right into the first exercise. Because you know we're gonna do a sense workout to do the abs. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do some flutter kicks. 40 seconds, then we'll rest for 20 seconds, going to the next one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go down, put your hands underneath your butt, and start the clock. Right here, you start flutter kicking. Feet about six inches from the ground. Right here, just keep kicking out right here as many times as you can. Before you, say, if you get to a point where you need to modify, you can go ahead and tap your head on the ground, but if not, keep your chin up, your shoulder blades off the ground. This is a good exercise to work the lower abs, well, your whole abs right here, right here, just flutter kick it out. Good military movement, we can do this a lot, basic training. Right here, just keep flutter kicking it up. Got about 15 seconds left. Right here, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. All right. We're gonna have 20, we're gonna have 20 seconds. We're gonna have 20 seconds of rest. We're we'll going to the next one. Next one's gonna be in and out. We're gonna be seated. We're gonna be sit up like a young. Legs in and out. As many times as we can for 40 seconds. We've got about 10 seconds. We're going again. We got five exercises. We're gonna go through three rounds. Each exercise is gonna be 40 seconds on. Give you 20 seconds rest in between. All right. Feet here. Just come in and out. Right here. Squeeze the abs. Right here. In and out. Right here. You can exhale a little work. Right here, just all about abs. But then we'll have that little five minute cardio finish. That's, that's gonna be crazy in itself anyway. 20 more seconds. Abs are gonna be burning, but stick to, keep going right here. You can tap the ground if you need to modify, but keep going. 12 more seconds. 10. 10 seconds, let's go, keep going. All about the abs. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, rest, grab wood if you need to. Now, next exercise, we're going to reverse crunch. We're gonna do that, reverse crunch, and lay all the way back. Knees gonna be bent, and you're gonna curl up, getting your butt off the ground, and come back and reverse it. You have to watch me one time, and then join in. So you're going lay it back. You come in here, bring it up, tap, Make sure you get the bar on the ground, because that's when your abs are really going to be working. Reverse crunch. Not using any weights, all body weight exercises to scope the abs. Right here. Let's go. About 15 more seconds. Let's go. Come on. Five more seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, 20 second rest. Now we're gonna do alternate, alternate toe tap, V up. You're gonna have your heels on the ground. You're gonna come here, come up tapping, right there. We're gonna go, not yet. About seven more seconds, we got that. As many times as you can for 40 seconds. Three, two, one. So you're coming here, right here. But I know my abs are feeling already. This is round, we're only doing three rounds. Let's go, 20 more seconds. Let's go, keep going, keep going. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. All right. Now we're gonna go over, go into high plank position, alternate toe taps. So you're gonna tap one hand to the other side, just alternate. You will stay in a good push-up position, right there. This is the last exercise in the round, then we'll take it back from the top right after this one. So right here, you come into that push-up position, tap your toe, right here, alternate. Right here, try to stay. Right here, 
squeeze the abs. Let's keep the core tight right here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on. Abs are burning. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 15 seconds. Let's go, let's knock them out. 10 seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, relax. Now, we're gonna do all that again. Back from the top. Flutter kick it in. Start. Some people, some people try to do abs every day, which I know I, I've done that before, but I choose it. When I do it now, my probably every other day, maybe two or three times a week, I do like 15 minutes of strength and work. I feel like getting better results like that. I feel to kick it out. Let's go. 20 seconds go by fast. Keep going. Let's go. Keep play, kicking it out. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Don't stop. Come on. We got 15 seconds. Almost there. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, relax, grab wood if you need to. We're going back in, in and out, in and out. <coughs> only, this ad work is only 15 minutes. Then, then we have to, obviously, all my work is out until the finish here, we're going to do our cardio blast. All right, here and out. Right here, so you come here, legs straight and squeeze them in. Right here. Let's go. I'm gonna get about 20 seconds left. Halfway finished. I know your abs are burning. I keep going. 12 seconds, 10. Let's go, keep going, knock them out. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax, 20 second rest. Going back to reverse crunch, reverse crunch. Not only you, not only you, um, not only you um, working your, your core, your abs, this is also getting your cardio in too, burning a lot of calories. So you're getting everything to work out. So reverse crunch here. Remember, try to keep your knees, try, try to keep your knees bent as much as possible during the whole exercise. And remember, make sure you're lifting up right here. Because if you just go here, you're not doing much. So you got you got to lift up right there to engage them, to engage the abs right here. Keep going. About 15 seconds left. Nine seconds, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, now we got some alternate toe taps right here. I know it's crazy. Most people don't get their heart rate up or, or work through heart and working abs, but not, but not in their 30 transformation. We go hard with every workout. It's only so here, come up right here. If you if your abs are burning real bad, um, that means you're doing it right. So don't worry about it. Just fight through it. Fight through it. Work. That was all about working hard to get the great results, earn the results. Right here. Let's go. Twelve more seconds. Let's go, keep going, keep going. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, back to that um, plank toe tap. You got that next, drink your grip. Make sure you get that water if you need it. Last exercise in round two. Three seconds, then we're going back in. Good push-up position, tap that toe. 
Sometimes what's good is to pick a number out and try to reach for it during the 40 seconds. If you want to do 20 toe taps or whatever, just, just go for it. Squeeze that core, let's go. 15 seconds. Let's go, keep going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. 20 seconds, but now we got everything one more time. It's the last round. So now we're about almost at that 10 minute mark. Five more minutes, five more minutes left for abs. And then we have five minutes of cardio, which is going to make a 20 minute workout. All right, we're going back in the flutter kicks. Here we go. All right, start flutter kicking. Right here. Almost there. Last time to do this exercise. Let's go. 20 seconds. Keep, keep kicking. Keep kicking. Keep your legs straight. Like I said, keep your chin up the chest. Keep your shoulders blades off. Engage the abs right here. Let's go. 15 seconds. Come on, let's go. 10 seconds right here. Keep going all the way through, finish strong. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax. We got in and out switch. You know, most of people saying abs are made in the kitchen, yeah. You do have to have a good diet to maintain abs, but you still need to train, you know. So I know a lot of I know a lot of fitness people say they don't they don't train abs at all. They just make it all in the kitchen, which is true. You have to have a, to get your abs so you do have to in nutrition you need to be on point, but you still need to work, you still have to you still have to have a strong core. So right here, and it's what we give you right here. Popping these abs out, turning that core, hitting you right. Come on. Let's go. I'm gonna go 12 seconds, let's go. No more breaks, go all the way through. 10 seconds, let's go, don't stop, all the way to the end. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax. Now you know we got that reverse crunch. Exercise number three in the circle. Let's go. 10 seconds. And then we're going back in for that reverse crunch. Make sure you get your butt off the ground. Keep your knees bent as much as possible. Right here. So you're going to lift up. Right here. Let's go. Let's go, keep going, let's go. Three, two, one. All right, all right, I'll take toe taps. We got that again. Remember, keep, drink your water, wipe your sweat. Let's get ready to work. I'll take toe taps. Let's go. About five more seconds, start getting ready. About to go back in. Come on. Three, two, one. So you're coming up. Right here, squeezing. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, looking good. Right here. If you're following the, if you're following the Strictly um, Transformation Program, this is your last workout of the week. But if you don't, know, you might just, or did it then, you might just be doing this because you want to have workout. How are you doing it? Just work. My abs are on fire. Let's go. That's what I want. Come on. Three. I'm going to run some more. We got five seconds left. Keep going. All right, rest. All right, last exercise, last exercise right here. We're going to plank toe taps right here. And then. We're gonna stand up and get ready for that cardio blast. Then I get you out of here. Let's go three, two, one. You come up to that push up position. Tap that toe, alternate hand, alternate foot. So left or right, 
right to left, right, squeeze it, tap it, right here, alternate, all you gotta do is go ahead and just go ahead and tap your knee. This is, you don't have to stretch in front, so you just go here. We're still gonna work the abs, but not as much as tap your toe. Right here, let's go. 15 seconds. 10, nine, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, 20 second rest. You wanna stand up, grab what you needed, but we're going in. Call it best, we got it. We're gonna do each six, we're gonna do each minute, we're gonna do a series of exercises um, for one minute before we switch. We got five different ones like that to hit the cardio up. So, so stay with me in three, two, one hour, one now, high runs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it down to the ground. Mount climbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shoulder taps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're coming back up. Repeat. High runs again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, take it back down. My harness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So attach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back up. High run. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We should get through the mountain harness right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right, next exercise, four rear lunges to jump squat, to two jumps, to one jump squat. So rear lunge, one, two, three, one more, four, test the ground, jump, jump again. That's one repeat that for the rest of the rest of the minute. We got four seconds left to do that. Two, three, four, two jump squats, test the ground, one, two, Rear lunges. One, two, three, four, two, two. Now squat. One, two, keep going. 15 seconds left, then we'll switch. One, and keep that knee down. Two, three, four, two jump squats. Test the running time. One, two, let's finish up with some lunges. One, two, all right, here we go. What you want to do? You want to come in a bear claw position, knees bent, once off the ground, you come in twisted. One, two, three, four. Come into a push-up position, four plank rows. One, two, three, four, four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Bring the knees in, break that in. One, two, three, four. Back in the push-up position, plank rows. One, two, three, four, four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Walk it in, break dancers. One, all right, come up. That was a one minute minute. So what we got now, four still jacks, four squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four squats, catch your breath. One, two, three, four. Back in still jacks. One, two, three, four. Four squats. One, two, three, four. Four still jacks. One, Two, three, four, four squats. One, two, three, four. All right, four subjects. One, two, three, four, four squats. One, two, three, four, four subjects. One, two, three, four. Right, what we got? We got one more, one more sequence left. It's gonna be um, four burpees, four speed squares, skates. I mean, two burpees, 
four six speed skates. So put on half burpee. Put on here. One. Again. One. Speed skater. One. Two. Three. Four. Two burpees. Half burpees. One. Two. Speed skater. One. Two. Three. Four. All right, two burpees. One. Two. Speed skater. One. Two. Three. Four. Back to the burpees. One. Two. Speed skater. One. Two. Three. Four. Two burpees. One. Again. Two. Speed skater. Last time. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. There you go. Activity completed. That was it. Fit 20 minutes. We did 15 minutes of ash, five minutes of cardio. Good job, proud of you. Grab some water, then we'll do a cool down. Even though it's egg, we, we concentrate on what the abs, we still sweat, still got the heart rate up, still get results. Like I said, you want to push yourself every time you work out, no matter what type of workout you're doing. If you're doing a bodybuilding style workout, if you lift up, you still want to push yourself. No matter what you do, if you're doing CrossFit, if you're doing circuit training, if you're doing abs, whatever you're doing, give 100%. That's the, that's the mind frame you need to go. You need to get into to get the result. Always go hard. Some, some days are going to be better than others. Some days you're not going to be able to perform or do as many reps or go as long as you know as sometimes you can, depending on. But the only thing that counts is as long as you gave maximum effort, your maximum effort. Because your maximum effort might be better than mine or vice versa. Or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your, your workout may be somebody else's warm up. Or your workout, um, your warm up might be somebody else's workout. So, so, for the rest of it, only thing you do, you compete to get yourself. But the thing you gotta do, you gotta track it and push yourself every day to get better. That's how you get better in fitness. You set goals, you reach it, you keep going. The, keep setting the bar higher and higher, and you will get there. You will get there. Like I said, if you're trying to get these abs, what you need to do, do this, do this workout like two or three times a week. Um, add on with some of the other workouts or just do it once a week, whatever. But make sure you follow the meal plan we have on there. It's a good meal plan. Something simple, something simple, easy to follow. Three whole, three solid meals a day, three shakes. You do that, you can't go wrong. So let everybody say, let's go ahead and start with a cool down. Then we do start with your feet together to unlock your hands. Reach up for the sky. Right here. One, all you're gonna release. You're gonna go down, hamstring stretch. All right, bend your knees coming up. Take one leg back, right here. Just calm yourself. Your heart's gonna come down naturally. Good job today. Like I said, if you're, if you're, if you're following 30, the 30 day transformation program, I switch legs, what it is, which, this is your, your Saturday workout, but the, um, the, the, the workout, the workout schedule is a guideline. That's the minimum. You have to, to be successful in the program. You have to do the workouts on them days we laid out, but, but, but you can like, like, like they always say in the military, you can add on, but just can't take away. So you have the six, you have six thirty, six thirty minutes or less workouts, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have to do those to be successful in the program and follow the meal plan. But if you want to double, if you want to double stack some other workouts or do or do the workouts twice, you can. The more the merrier. What we're not that, but what we're telling you is that you have to do workouts on the days that we laid out. But if you want to double up to, to get faster results, to give yourself a challenge to suffer even more, feel free to do that. Just don't take away. Don't just say, okay, oh no, I'm just. I'm not gonna do this to this day. No, do the workouts on the day we laid out. But if you wanna add on and do some more workouts um, combined with this program, that's fine. I'm not against that. As long as you're getting the proper rest, stem the nutrition, you're gonna be good. But just make sure you at least doing the program the way we laid out, because that, that's where you're gonna see results. See it through. Last 30 days, 30 days can go by fast. A lot of people act like they can't make it through a program in 30 days. 30 is nothing. Imagine, because I, I meet people, oh, I want to get in shape. 
I see them again six, seven months later, they still saying the same thing. If they just stick to a program, they had already been there by now, you know what I'm saying? The rest of my name is Fred. Like I said, my name is Marcus Wallace, U.S. Army Master Fitness Trainer, Group Fitness Instructor, Certified Personal Trainer, Love Doing Fitness, 30, this is Shred Nation, Treads Fitness. Uh, make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the site, like it, blast it, do work out with everybody else. Follow me on Instagram, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on all social media sites, even on LinkedIn. Any, so that's where you can find me anyway. If you have any questions, hit me up, and I'll see you next workout. Peace.